Have you ever been asked to speak at your church? And so you head down the center aisle, and then you stop. The pulpit's on one side and the lectern's on the other. Which way do you go? Let me see if I can help as we take a look at the pulpit versus the lectern on this episode of Chuck Knows Church. In many churches today, there are two podiums at the front, one on each side of the chancel area. A pulpit and a lectern. But which is which? <clears throat> Typically, the pulpit is where the pastor delivers the sermon. And the lectern is where the scriptures are read, since the word lectern relates to a Latin word meaning to read, but I'm sure you already knew that. <clears throat> so the lectern is typically used by lay people or liturgists. Oh, wait, that's fun to say. Liturgist. Say that with me. Liturgist. <clears throat> anyway, the people that read the lessons uh, lead the congregation in prayer or make announcements, maybe let people know when they left their headlights on. <sighs> While the pastor will do the preaching, from the pulpit. All right, how about this? <clears throat> In the 18th century, they even had triple-decker pulpits. Each level used according to the importance of the message. The bottom level for community announcements. The middle was used for uh, certain scripture lessons, and the top tier we up here was reserved for the gospel reading or the almighty sermon. Uh, we don't see many of those high-flying Cirque du Soleil acts anymore, though, do we? Anyway. That is the pulpit versus the lectern. Ask your pastor who uh, usually hangs out at the pulpit if you want to learn more. You can tell him that uh, Chuck sent you. <sighs>